Hey guys, welcome back to Honest Product Review guys. In today's video we'll be uh, guys reviewing a scanner that you can use to reset or calibrate steering angle sensor on your vehicle guys. It works on most cars guys and this is amazing scanner that we've been using. Now the video is not sponsored, we purchased the, scanners, uh, the scanner hour uh, with our own money guys. So uh, this is an honest review guys and we've been using it for probably about six months now and on every car that we had at the shop it worked perfectly fine guys. That scanner actually guys can reset steering angle sensor it can calibrate it you can see and uh, scan the systems guys for the engine computer airbag computer and traction control computer guys and you can clear codes from there as well and you can see live data very good scanner guys and it has a few more functions so we will we'll cover all that today so let's come a little bit closer with the camera and i'm going to show you. it comes with that case okay by it's made by foxwell guys um, it's called Foxwell NT650 so let's come a little bit closer and I'll show you guys what it comes with so you have uh, on the inside the manual you have the hard case I put everything together we have a USB cable if you need to uh, program uh, to update it okay they release updates and uh, everything's there guys super super nice hard case as well so I'll go ahead and demonstrate guys how that function works pretty quick so in case you're, uh, you're on the market for a uh, two that can do that and it's relatively not very expensive because some of them are thousands and thousands of dollars we'll explain how to do that so pretty simple guys open uh, the door under uh, under the steering wheel most of the times guys you're going to have an obd port somewhere uh, that obd port is where you connect the scanner to, to your vehicle every vehicle past 1996 has usually that port guys so check it out and every car that has traction control newer car guys has a steering angle sensor the steering angle sensor detects how many degrees the steering wheel uh, is turning left or right and it can adjust the traction control and it knows if the car is in a slide if it needs to, cor to correct something or all that stuff so we'll turn the ignition on and every time guys you replace mechanical parts on the suspension uh, steering angle sensor or you guys need to replace uh, a rack and pinion anything like that or you have a wheel alignment you guys need to go ahead and reset the steering angle sensor so let me explain okay how we are going to do that now so i'm going to uh, go ahead and close the door give me just a second here okay to get all my cables in perfect so some of the functions guys this is to read and delete codes from the engine computer this is abs and traction control computer on certain vehicles you can register new batteries you can scan cvt transmissions you can guys program and reset injectors quite a few things really really helpful too we go to steering angle sensor select that now introduction to the function here i'm going to just uh, let you read if you need something guys it explains why you need to reset it pretty much if you put new parts or you had a uh, four wheel alignment select choose vehicle we're going to select USA because ours is uh, Chevy which is made by General Motors and ours is a 2015 model perfect passenger car and we select Chevy Cruise that's our model Chevy Cruise and we select guys electronic brake control module this is the traction control computer select this switch on ignition as you can see guys the ignition is on car is not running the rpms are not uh, moving so car is not running click ok steering angle sensor warn click enter align the front wheels straight and center the steering wheel and then press ok button to continue so i'm really trying to okay make the steering wheel straight tires are straight ahead click OK now it starts beeping counting 4 3 2 stability track and traction control light is on that's fine and now it says that the test has been successful and we click OK perfect now we're done with that function and if you guys want to verify your steering angle sensor you can check that with that too as well let me show you quick you go to the traction control and airbag computer select usa for our vehicle because it's american general motors perfect now we are going to select 2015 passenger car chevy and then select cruise perfect 
you can see now it's loading click control unit and we'll select electronic brake control module great now we're almost there it's establishing communication guys so definitely great computer click data display enter solenoid valve data or anti-lock braking data so you need to check both of them usually you may have different names depending on the vehicle and make and all that stuff but under one of those you're going to have a sensor okay check out how you can check everything that says steering wheel angle right now it's zero degrees because we have ours reset at that position if i move it a little bit to the left it's at 12 degrees guys so if i move the steering wheel even more 111 degrees so if i bring it back okay let me let me get it with two hands because i don't have the car started so it's a little okay i'm at three degrees now two one zero right there so you can see guys how much you can do with that scanner so hopefully the video will be helpful uh, this is the foxwell nt650 scanner thank you for watching and see you guys next time